This is another garden room we finished in Salins. This one we tried to mimic the existing buildings around us. Um, the sun's right in my eyes here so it's hard to see. Um, and uh, so we didn't do timber cladding or anything like that. So it's a rendered face, it's coloured rendered face, so it's um, it's zero maintenance. It, the rendering is that colour, so if it ever gets scratched, it's the same colour. Got the echo channel all the way across um, the front of it, so is that uh, any water that ever builds up in the garden uh, will end up in the echo channel going across to the drain, which is then dug across the main manhole of the house. So I'll show you in here now. Munster joinery double glazed future proof windows and doors to match the ones on the house and we have an AC5 uh, water resistant floor well it's the most water resistant type of laminate floor little kitchen area built in over here and little bathroom over here very compact bathroom this was um, there is an excuse behind this, but it's it's smaller than I would have liked. Um, and then there's a double bedroom size room here. That's big enough for double bed, bedside tables, and a built-in wardrobe. My initial plan was to have that as an ensuite accessible from here, which would have meant the whole right-hand side of it would have been a shower, small sink in front, and then a toilet in this area here. The toilet would have been here, sink there, and there would have been a big shower at the end. Uh, but then the customer asked to have the bathroom accessible from the main living area, um, which made the actual ensuite smaller. Um, but look, it's whatever the customer wants. Um, yeah, so um, this is all done and dusted now. It worked out very well. Um, these, you can see, obviously, you see the shape of it. This is built into the irregular shape of the back garden. Um, and um, so we use every single available bit of space. It's under 25 square meters, which brings it into the exempt, uh, it's exempt from planning permission, but the folks put the bathroom and the kitchen into it, which makes it do, strictly speaking, require planning permission. Uh, so they can get retention permission for that if ever they choose to do so. Um, otherwise, uh, it is, a rated insulation in it so the walls have 100 millimeters of king span the ceiling and floors of 150 millimeters of king span which makes it a far superior to product to anything else on the market for garden rooms um yeah lovely job